By now, you may have come across the, the formula for solving a quadratic equation. That formula is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. What we're going to look at in this video is where does this formula come from? We're going to use the general formula for a quadratic equation, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And we're going to rearrange that equation to ultimately find x. So to start with, we're going to divide through by a. So we get x squared bx over a plus c over a equaling 0. By rearranging the above equation, we can get x squared plus bx over a equals minus c over a. We've basically taken away c over a from each side of the equal sign. Now here comes the next little tricky bit to solve this equation. It's a neat little trick um, and for those of you who have seen the video on completing the square you'll probably understand this next move. We're going to use it now. So what we're going to add to each side is b squared over 4a squared. So that will then give us a complete square on the left hand side of the equal sign. So we get x squared over b x over a plus, and this is the bit that completes the square, b squared over 4a squared, and that equals minus ca plus b squared over 4a squared. Now if we look closely at the left hand side of the equal sign, we created a perfect square. So we're now going to factorise this, and it should become x plus b over 2a all squared. And you could check that by multiplying out those brackets. And the right hand side, I'm just going to reorganise. So I've got the b squared over 4a squared ahead of the minus c over a. Now, if we rearrange the right hand side of the equal sign, so we end up with a common denominator. The common denominator will be 4a squared. So we'll end up on the top, the numerator will become b squared minus 4ac. And the left hand side we can just carry down as it was before, so we've got x plus b over 2a all squared. Now this may be becoming a little bit more familiar. The right hand side certainly begins to include the b squared minus 4a which we, we were looking for. So now the next step, if we take the square root of each side, so we're doing the same thing to each side of the equal sign, on the left hand side we'll have x plus b over 2a and on the right hand side the square root will be plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared. Let's simplify this a little bit further. So the left hand side remains as it is. x plus b over 2a. The right hand side, well the, 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 the denominator here which is 4a squared, the square root of that will simply be 2a. So we can rewrite this as plus or minus the square root of the, the numerator divided by 2a. And we're very nearly there now. One more step. On the left hand side we've got a minus b over 2a. We don't want that this, this b over 2a on this side so we're going to take it away. So we end up with x equals minus b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And there's going to be one more step to come. And our final step is a little bit of tidying up. So the left hand side will be x. On the right hand side we've got a common denominator which is 2a. So we can put the whole lot over 2a. So then we're left with minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. And that final equation is the one that you're probably familiar with. To help you with this, if, if you're a little bit confused with the, the bit where I completed the square, have a look at the video that Mr. Wegg did on that subject. It may help. 